morning from Fez. The airport. We the had airport. the easiest check-in ever. It was about 10 minutes from when we were dropped off to when we were through passport control in Morocco. There is to get out of the country, you have to go through passport control like five million times and show your passport and get your bag scanned, but it's safe. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of shows how wonderful Moroccan people are because it's just a really friendly, happy oh, process. Oh, they're so friendly everywhere. And at one point, the guy answered his phone while he's talking to the customs guy. It was fine. Yeah, it's not something you do at home. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna go check out the lounge now, the VIP lounge here in the. <laughs> there's only one lounge, so. <laughs> we're so important. My <laughs> parents said they went we yesterday. My parents said they went yesterday. They were the only ones in there, so it'll be interesting. We're gonna check out the lounge, and then we are flying in about two hours. We're flying Ryanair to Barcelona. Barcelona. And we're not gonna be those people that say it but... No, we're not. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of a review on our experience flying Ryanair again. We did did one of these a little while back, but we're gonna do another one just to compare the two experiences we've had, and we'll take you along with. So the lounge here is pretty small. It's basically a little buffet here, and then it's just a little room right here, and then that's the out into the airport. It's just like tiny, tiny, tiny room, and we're gonna have some tea, yes. Oh, that's not tea, that's not tea. Way to go, Katie. Noted, don't come here for the food. I'm on my second coffee, we've been here about five minutes. Had the insides of a chocolate croissant. Some of this corn biscuit, which was pretty awful. Um, and then a couple of these dessert things, which were fantastic. It was like whipping cream and cake. But it's not really the best breakfast to start your day. How do you like it? She had like a flatbread thing, which was pretty decent, but apparently they'll make you sandwiches. We just haven't tried yet. But it's nice. It's a good place to chill, at least, for now. Drinks. It's a total shit show trying to board this plane. There's like literally everyone's just like clustered around, like pushing into each other. Typical sort of Ryanair style though, it's just like a gong show. The They're shoving Katie. Push in front of me for her and so there's just like zero organization. They have priority boarding and stuff, but everyone just like clusters around and pushes each other around. So if you want to get first in line, you'd better just be waiting for it. Or don't, just go last. Alright, we made it through and I'm really not sure what's going on here. But we're in now another set of lines outside. And there is the plane. So you can see our Ryanair flight. I was told once that we did not film enough of the outside of the plane. So there is the outside of the plane. So you can see what it looks like. So same as the last plane so far. It was a bit of a gong show getting on, but now we've got the so I got a decent amount of room, I'm six foot four and my knees aren't touching me. I can't really stretch out very well, but it's a decent amount. He's got lots of room. All sorts of dancing. It's like a little like we got a she's about to bust out a music video. Look at this. Velour jumpsuit. Boom, what's up? No, it's not a jumpsuit, it's a sweatshirt. Mm-hmm, it's a jumpsuit. There is no power. There is no USB port. There's no entertainment system. So you need to bring your own. Also good to note that you need to pay for any drinks you get, uh, food, there's no snacks, there's no nothing, it's basic. But it's also cheap, yeah, very, very inexpensive. Make sure you print your boarding pass via Oh my gosh, yeah, so I printed my boarding pass on, we did ours on a reversible, so it was just like a half page front and back. But they told us it wasn't good enough, it had to be on a full page, all on the one side that's folded up. They didn't charge us for it, but it's still it's absolutely ridiculous because it's kind of like saving money by saving paper, but anyways, that was not, not good enough, so just be careful, make sure that you don't, make sure you fully print it on a full piece of paper, uh, otherwise they could charge you, but they didn't charge us, so we were lucky. Just saying, it was ridiculous. So you can see the, the seats here in the cabin, and sort of just the overall space. The rest of the uh, actual amenities on this plane, there is air and a light, which you control up top. And they have safety devices, which is great. So there's things for air and oxygen, or emergency uh, life vests up there as well, which is always nice. Safety first, Katie, safety first. We made it to Barcelona. We're on a bus. We made it to Barcelona. We got on a bus and we're heading to the terminal to go to customs. Alrighty, we've arrived and we got through customs and everything. And it was super quick, super easy. People were just pushing around though again on the plane. It's just the weirdest thing. We never experienced that at all in Morocco, but here we did. And now we're looking for the Aerobus. Aerobus is this way. We're looking for the. 41. 46? That was a red one, right? What color was the color we wanted? A2. 
Anyways, we're trying to get the Airbus, and that is going to take us to the city center. It's about a five minute walk from our hotel, and we're gonna walk to the hotel from there. So we're just trying to find it. There is the Airbus, the A2, right? A2 is not a choice. And on the bus, get on the bus. Where is that? On the oh, actual God. bus? Yeah, we see the Airbus. Whether or not we make it is a different question. We're trying, we're trying, we're running. It's there. They only leave every half hour. The airport is every 10. All right, okay, so we have the Airbus here. We just got our tickets, and you had to use credit card because they only get maximum 20 euro change. And naturally, I only had a 50 euro bill. So it was pretty easy though. It's right in front of Terminal 2 and Terminal 3. You can jump on the bus, and then it'll take you all the way. There's like four or five stops in the city. And it just so happens, and it's every 10 minutes from the airport. And it just so happens that we're going somewhere that's right near one of the stops. Amazing lighting. So I'm gonna ride this for about 45 minutes, and then we head up, get up at our air fire hotel. We made it! Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> we made it! We're in Barcelona. 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 We're at the uh, Urban Trafalgar Hotel, and it's beautiful. It's nice. It's a cute little cozy room. Um, they have wine o'clock from 6.30 to 7.30. As much as you want to drink wine, you can drink wine and sangria. So we will go for a glass of sangria later. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of, I don't know, just wandering around the city for now. Just enjoy a little bit of free time in Barcelona. Uh, overall experience on Ryanair. Overall experience, <laughs> Katie's waiting to play some stupid song. Overall experience on Ryanair, it was uh, same as last time. Honestly, the people was what made it crummy because the people were just shoving us around. Yeah, he did when he didn't bring us our chai tea latte. He it wasn't was, a big deal. We weren't mad. And then no, he no, it's cool. It ends with the yeah, and it was funny, but whatever. Like the service was good, I guess. Nothing, no complaints against Ryanair there, but the the people on the flight were just awful. They were shoving like crazy, which is really weird. I don't know where they were all from because. Our experience with the Moroccan people was they were all like so kind, so courteous, everything was great. I don't know if it was what it was, but everyone was just shoving like it was like a madhouse. Anyways, we survived, we made it here. Uh, easy flight, no complaints. It's just a cheap airline, gets you point A to point B. Make sure you have your boarding pass printed properly because apparently we didn't have ours done properly. And make sure your bags aren't overweight and you'll be fine. Um, yeah, so I'd recommend flying them again if you needed to, just for short hops. But make sure you pay for the bag and pay for the bag for the on the board and everything, even though it's expensive, because it's worth it if you need the baggage. Um, anyhow, we're gonna head into the center of Barcelona now, and we're going to do some exploring. So we'll take you guys alongside. Our find here, this is uh, from La Fabrica, and you can see the menu there. We bought a whole bunch of empanadas to try. We bought 12 for 20 euros. You can get different deals with drinks, but we're just, we just got a whole bunch of them to try because we love empanadas from Argentina. And now we're just sitting in a square, eating our empanadas. They haven't lasted very long. We're crushing them, they're so good. Thoughts? Could be hotter, but delicious. Not far from our hotel is the Catedral de Barcelona. And this is in the Gothic Quarter. What are your thoughts? Beautiful. Such a cool little area. Just like little piazzas. I know it's Italian, but this is what we love about Europe is just walking around, having coffee on the square, and just enjoying the people watching. Continuing our wander, we're now wandering into La Bogaria, which is a big marketplace. You probably won't actually eat here, it's pretty overpriced, but you've got all sorts of things like vegetables and special snacks, and I'm sure we'll buy something in here. Oh, that would be yummy. Maybe a coffee. Mark's kitchen for a coffee. Sweets. Delicious sweets. Look at the beautiful square. All the lovely buildings. It's a little bit cold. How is your time right now, Katie? Cold? 
Alright, now it's culminated to this. We're at El, uh, El Bixo. Oh no, El Bixo. And we're having, this is like a patatas bravas knockoff, their version. And then we've got the hummus and tuna dip. And then we've got this fish dish, which should be interesting. Because now they're about to eat fish like this, but we're gonna give her. We're trying something local, specialty. And they will all be eaten. It's protein, and we don't want to be rude. Turns out we liked it. We ate it all. Not the tails. Not the tails. Not the tails. Not the tails. You want a gelato? I guess we were gonna film, but now we're gonna eat gelato. Wait, wait, are we close to our hotel? We're close to our hotel, it's right behind us. We had really spicy, really spicy candy. Spicy. If you can see, my cheeks get really, really red and itchy. Oh. No, that's horrible. Really red and itchy from spicy food, so that's what all this, this is. Because, and it's from the candy. So they gave us a candy, she goes, watch out, it's a little bit spicy. It was just shaped like a pepper. It's really spicy. I love spice, but it's really spicy. It's good though, I could get behind that. I could eat those all day. Nothing cures an itchy face like gelato. So we got gelato. <laughs> uh, Ferrero flavored and dolce de leche because Katie's on a dolce de leche kick again after we went to get empanadas and they had dolce de leche and then you get a cone topping on it hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe up here check out our most recent other videos over here or subscribe to our other channel over here